Hey folks, Whip here, and welcome on back to the hardcore Minecraft world. I'm over here on Mooshland right now, getting a few things rocking and trying to organize our storage a little bit better. So I filled up this sugar box as well as a few others in here of just random junk that were sitting in the chest, floating up in the sky. Still got a little bit more work to do, but you know, at least we have something we can carry back home for now. Now, it has been quite some time since we have been on this world, my friends, because I've been absolutely obsessed with Empire's SMP, but I am so inspired to get back in here and start working on the castle project again. Now this morning, I have already spent about three or four hours designing a new section for the castle, which is absolutely awesome for one, but really, really bad for number two, because uh, three to four hours in creative mode planning a castle for me, means we have a giant addition come in the castle today. So that is absolutely awesome for all of you. But holy cow, I got a lot of blocks together. My friends, today we're gonna be working on the feast room right back in here, which is gonna be absolutely amazing. So if you're excited for that one, please be sure to click that like button down below. And if you're brand new, consider subscribing. It's been a while since we've worked on this place. We've been really working on the Minecraft 1.17 area, which has been super awesome, building out that custom cave base and everything like that. But I'm really excited to get back working on this castle, and it's something I want to finish up before I can start a new castle project over on Empire, so building up our giant evil fortress of doom and mayhem over there. I'm just now realizing how terribly small this storage room is and how have I lasted this long out of just this tiny little place. Oh my gosh, it's driving me insane. I think this right here today is telling me that we have completely outgrown this storage room as everything is overflowing. Oh my God, I don't even have a place to put these blocks in here. Sure, just go in that chest. Get get out of my inventory. Do I just grow the shulker box monster coming outside of the front of the storage room? Is that the solution here? Because I'm thinking that might be the solution here. I'm going insane. I'm going absolutely insane, everybody. But you know what? We're just gonna leave it here for now. I'm gonna leave all those boxes out there for now. I'll organize them later because we have something very important to tackle before we can even start to think about building this new castle section. And that is gonna involve a lot of dispensers as well as a lot of observers. One thing I really wanna start working with inside of this world is actually gonna be copper, but I don't have a great way of getting honeycombs right now. So we have no ability to actually get a good amount of copper for ourselves. So I figured today we could start off by coming deep down here underground, just right underneath the greenhouse and creating a very, very simple little bee farm. I was actually recently talking with Pearlescent Moon and she came up with a stupidly simple design inside of her hardcore world. I'm pretty much gonna be piggybacking off of that design and trying to make my own of it. And it should be super duper awesome. We've got ourselves a nice inconspicuous little bit of an entrance down here underground, and we don't actually need too much space to be able to build these things, which is my favorite part about it. And there we go. This should be a pretty quick and dirty little bee farm underneath here. What my hope is, is that we can get six of them set up for ourselves. So I need to have six little temporary blocks down here for the andesite. And then what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be having an observer looking at every single one of these. So I guess I need another space back here. So having an observer that looks right there, and then if we break that, you can see that that really briefly activated the redstone up there at the top. So that's going to be absolutely awesome. Now what we need to do is get a bunch of dispensers and have them looking downwards. Well, we'll fill these guys up with a bunch of shears here. And as far as I know, breaking that, you heard the little bit of the click of the dispenser in there. So we should be good to go. Adding a little bit of a protective door for ourselves so that we can see the bees, what they're doing without actually being inside of here with them. And then we can bring a little door right there. So we actually have a double door system. So in case any bees get out here, we have a chance to rescue them before they make it all the way outside. And that should help out a lot. Next up, before we get the bees involved, we got to figure out what we're doing for the storage system, and everything. And I would love to be able to just get the resources out here. So I don't even have to try walking inside. I really should have thought about this one first line is now in place so we should be all good to go bringing some bees down here but first what i should probably do is actually load this thing full of a bunch of shears for ourselves that should about do it there's at least four in every single one of those and now all we got to do is run upstairs and hope that it's nighttime so the bees are inside their little holes oh rosa no stay inside stay inside okay now we just wait for nighttime should i breathe them up one more time i guess we could also make some new things yeah let's breathe the bees just so we have oh my god i have so many oh we really got to make sure we have a lot of extra ones up here this is gonna be fantastic i am friend not food i am friend not food my oh my oh my i wonder why this place is laggy. <laughs> 
We have so many bees. While we're waiting for nighttime, we might as well decorate this area out a little bit. And I want to make it feel a little bit more on the forested side down here if we can. That way our bees will feel a bit more at home than they otherwise would. So I'm thinking we just leave a little bit of cobblestone around here. Then I'm going to do some strip spruce wood going all the way around the thing. And I think we could grab some glow berries maybe and have them hanging from the ceiling. This is going to be one of those things that if we need to expand it and we need to get more bees down here, which I highly doubt we will, it's super tileable. All we have to do is extend that hallway down another two or three blocks and we can add an entire another section of these little bee guys on. And now time to strip it all down. There we go. It is nighttime now, my friends, and all of the bees should be in their homes. Please, do you guys not have homes? Are there that many extra bees in here? I'll give them another minute. I'll give them another minute. But that moon, I can't even see it. It's got to be super high in the sky right now. Yeah, it is way up there. Okay, all of these have to be full. Oh no, oh no, 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 bad, 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 very bad, very bad. How did you get on that roof? That should be mob roof up there. That lower point isn't, I forgot buttons. How have I AFK'd so many times in this little storage room area and not died when I've forgotten buttons down here the entire time? I don't know. Now I could have sworn if you had a bee under a campfire, you could move them like this. But I might not have a campfire under that one. I hope they're not mad at me anymore. I don't think there's any bees in that, unfortunately. We'll have to see. Are we friends? Oh, there's a bee escaped. Okay, are we friends? I don't want to die to bees. See, there's a campfire right under there. Did I mess up by not giving this smoke access to the thing? That might have been it. Okay, we're going to try this one more time and hope we don't die to bees. Getting ready to run. Oh, getting ready to run, getting ready to run, getting very ready to run. Why is that not working? Why is that not working? Oh God, that's not good. Guys, I made a mistake. According to my research, all I should need is this. Soak touch. Don't have that apparently on this ax. Oops. Ow, 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 no, 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 I did it again. I did, I broke this downstairs. I didn't think they could see me and I walk in there, I get, I get stung. Oh, I hate this game. I'm going to get those stupid glow berries so I can decorate their stupid home I'm trying to make for them. I was not expecting at all to almost die twice now to bees in this episode, but I guess that's hardcore for you. We're almost ready for bee heist round three over here, but I'm just adding a few little bits and bobs all over the place so we can get a lot of really cool decorations down here. And I really wanted to add in a lot of extra stuff. So we've got the six flowers in there, one for each beehive. And then I figured we could just have some other random nethery things down here just because I think they look really cool and I love the colors we're getting out of it. That looks pretty magical inside there if you ask me. So that should be super duper awesome, but that should be enough string around here. Now we wait. And we get the golden apples out. I am Fwip, mother of bees. Everybody go in your homes, go into your domiciles, sleep, sleep now, go to your hives. No, they're all popping out. Everybody go to bed, go to bed, now. It's an order. I'm definitely the one in charge here after earlier today. Definitely me, definitely I'm in charge. Okay, they're all over there. I'm over here. I think I have a clear exit. Let's see if this works. I think we're good. I think we're good. There's bees in every single one of these. Okay, good, 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 good. All right, we got six. Get out, get out, go. Now, bound, down, 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 run away. There they are, the first bees are popping out down here. All we gotta do is drop them in a line right there and they should be good to go. Oh my gosh, everybody, these things are all working. This is ready to go. We have an automatic bee farm. Oh, that was a headache and a half to get done. But look down here. We've got it. We've got some honeycomb and the other blocks that I threw in here. Okay, it's fine. All I wanted was a super quick and simple honeycomb farm so I could get honey while I get all the rest of my blocks. Okay, well, we got that step done. Now for the other blocks. Also, don't worry, I did make some extra beehives out of the new honeycomb we acquired so we can add these guys back up here so all of our homeless bees now hopefully should have some homes because they're not overpopulated up here. I've been over here taking a look throughout the storage room and looking about the next things that we need to gather. And I think we're actually gonna have to go grab a little bit of sand here, but I did realize, well, earlier, kind of we saw it all together, is I have so much stone, I have so much cobblestone that I'm absolutely overflowing even with all of the extra tertiary stone blocks as well. If you have any ideas of what we can do with all those resources, I'm looking to add a small like terraforming project around this area, but I don't know what to do. 
So if you have any ideas, please be sure to let me know down in the comments below. The next items on our list that we need to gather are going to be a bunch of lecterns because as we're working on the feast hall, grand hall kind of throne room today, I want to have some really nice looking railings for an upper balcony. So thankfully, all of our librarian villagers are going to be able to help us out with that with having some bookshelf trades. So grabbing just a few emeralds over here for ourselves. I hope I actually got some librarians to trade these. I don't know if I really did. Oh, yes, we did. Haha, -ha, perfect. Not the cheapest trade in the world, but they are free, so I can't really complain over here. Well, I should say that the emeralds are free, not not the bookshelves over here, unfortunately. Ooh, what are we going to unlock? What you got? What you got? What you got for me? Ah, uh, lanterns. I take. A little over 80 bookshelves right there should be more than we need for now, so that's absolutely awesome, and we just have to turn pretty much all of those into lecterns. Next up, as I always like to have a lot of it, is uh, we got to run over and get a little bit of sand and we can maybe improve the raid farm a touch at the exact same time. Hello, my chicken infested spawn village. Wait, shipwreck? I don't think we've explored this one before. Any goodies for me? Wheat. I love wheat. And sand, which is leading us underground to hopefully a chest? This is about as cursed Minecraft as you can get. I'm assuming this is a chunk that I deleted right on the chunk border. Yeah, literally right here is where the chunk was deleted. And the new one generated a dark oak boat down there, whereas the original was a jungle boat. So there has to be another chest around here, right? Or maybe not. Oh, well, bummer. But with the sun setting right behind me, my friends, it's Sandy time. Two sugar boxes and some change there. Ready to go on the sandy front. We can move on to gathering up the next block, which unfortunately is, uh, it's copper. We need a lot of copper blocks. But first, dropping all this junk back off here at home and starting some sand here in the furnaces for some glass, and there's no fuel. This should help out here. Just, you know, half stack of coal for each. Unfortunately, in our chest right now, we only have 21 copper ore, so that means we've got to do a lot of mining for it. We could eventually set up a drown farm, but I've heard those are absolutely massive projects, and, well, after the bees today, I don't know if I really want to tackle that. Loading up here on a few more shulker boxes that we can just toss inside of the ender chest so we can actually have some real space in here. It's time to head off to 1.17 land and uh, mine for some copper. But at this point in time, you all know how this thing here goes. So without any further ado, it is montage time. And don't die, don't die, don't die. Nailed it. Landed. Time to mine. And there we go, my friends, back over at Mooshland right now because I need to desperately repair these tools before we get building, but check that out right there. No, I'm just kidding, look at that. Oh my gosh, we have a shulker box and a half full of the stuff over here. And I'll be honest, I got this many pumpkins and melons from AFKing for now about a half hour. And I'm a little worried one of the mine carts has stopped up here and is not working. And there it is. Oh my Lord, there's so many sitting up there. Oh, that hurts. That hurts me. Let's just go give him a little nudge. Go, buddy. Go, 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 go. Okay, he should be working now. Look at the little guy going. He just needed a little bit of encouragement to be back up here. But, oh, check that out. Hopefully, the picks up everything. Nice. But now it is time to open up the villager breeding area so we can start to get all of the lovely experience. And there we go. Might as well tackle two birds with one stone over here and get some bricks while we're at it because we're going to be needing a lot of these for today's build. Feeling much better now that our tools are fully repaired. I've got sugar boxes here full of raw copper and an inventory full of brick blocks and iron ingots. My friends, we need a super smelter because I can tell you for sure I am not walking in here and manually placing all of this raw copper in the eight furnaces I have. We'll create a much more grand and overkill furnace system later on, but for now, we just gotta get started right in here. Actually, over here. I think I need more space. 
Yep, definitely needed more space. All right, perfect. We're using 16 furnaces here, my friends. Hoppers go in the back for all of the fuel and right on top for everything we want to smell. To make this guy super easy over here, we're going to be using a bunch of mine carts to send the items right back and forth. And just like this, the system is pretty much already done. The only problem now is I don't have much fuel. Or do I? Yeah, I think I do. Coming all the way back on over here though, we can add the fuel in the back right here just to get us started. I'll start chopping all these things down in a moment. And then from there, I need to funnel all of the copper into that double chest. Please, let's hope I did this correctly. Right there should send them both off and magic. Ah, I need to send everyone farther. Oh God, no, stop, stop. What I needed to do was take it back one extra block. Otherwise this hopper was getting skipped and there's a hopper in my furnace. Now, now we're good. Oh yes, oh yes. Well, those are smelting down. It's time for me to get a little bit more fuel for ourselves. So pillar of coal it is. I finished constructing the giant pillar of coal and we are dangerously close to world height here, my friends, but it is time to tear that massive thing down. That is about as big of an eyesore as you could possibly have in Minecraft. And nailed it. Perfect landing. Five shulker boxes filled up with way too much random junk. And my friends, I think I'm almost ready here for the castle expansion. Check <laughs> all this stuff out. Holy cow, but over here, oh wow, that copper looks a lot different when it's all smelted down. How many blocks did we get? This is the last thing I need, besides actually a few candles. Looks like our mining expedition here got us almost four and a half stacks of copper though, which is actually pretty legit. Thankfully, the copper mining is gonna be paying off over here and we're actually gonna have about a stack and a half of extra copper blocks for ourselves to use later on. But for now, we need to see if this bee farm has actually done anything. Feeling very hopeful. What do we got down here? Not bad, not bad. That should be more than enough than we need because we need one for each of these guys. So that's like what, three stacks? And then I need the beautiful, beautiful candles too, which are apparently very, very expensive to die. I never knew that. But there we go, my friends. We've got all the materials we need. And one last thing I wanna do before we start this as I'm trying to be super careful about the mob spawning is I want to first run along here and toss in a few extra torches that I might've missed beforehand. And this build right over here, my friends, is gonna be coming all the way out here. There we go, that should about do it, my friends. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and kick this off in a good old fashioned time-lapse mode at the top of my head. And there we go, my friends. This whole thing is done. Holy cow, that was an absolutely massive build, but it's looking so good. I still have not waxed all the copper and everything because I want to see what it looked like if some of it started aging down. So we'll kind of see if there's a little bit of scuffs from a lot of foot traffic and everything like that in the area. But we've got this big old open space right up here where I am thinking we need to have a nice chair. We need a chair, we've earned it, right? We totally have earned the right to have a big old chair right up here for ourselves and I think that's gonna be absolutely awesome. Slapping a bunch of blocks down right over here, we can get a nice little spot with the light blue wool so it can be a little bit of an outline for our lovely chair. And then we come right around here with all of these super cool blocks. And I've got a few more fun ones in my inventory that we can be using. So if we throw some of the walls on top of them, going a little bit of a similar design to everything else that we've done, a little bit almost Game of Thronesy inspired. And I think I still need to go get a few different 
blocks for ourselves from having a heck of a lot of really cool stuff in here for some chains i think could be absolutely awesome but we've got all these super cool dudes right there so bam bam and bam i've got a more upgraded version of this in mind for when we get over to the palace where we can have a much larger grander throne but this is here you know if we want to sit with the the people living in the castle will enjoy a nice dinner in front of everybody. I think that's a pretty nice throne over there. <laughs> it looks so massive against the white calcite background. Oh, that looks a little ominous. But we've got some extra chains to help lighten it up and maybe candles. And there we go. A throne fit for a me. I love this. The only thing now is I need my two advisors up here and we need two chairs for our advisors to sit down in. So let me design some mini ones that are going right over there and right over there and get my friends over here. All right, come on, little one. I got a new home for you. Over this way, Nova. There you are, Coda. Come on, buddy. You're going to love this. All right, Coda. Up this way, buddy. You got a nice little chair there waiting for you right back in here. And perfect. I got to fix your collar, though. I'll do that here in a sec. Nope, Nova, you can't go with your brother. You have your own chair all the way over here. Come on. And perfect. <laughs> oh, this is so good, my friends. But you know what? It's a little empty in here. These two like a little bit more going on to look around at and everything like that. So uh, with that, time to decorate. Adding these last two little guys right up here. I think we are pretty much done with decorating the inside, my friends. Check this out right here. I love this. I really tried to brighten it up a lot behind the throne because it felt very dark. So we got this very cool chandelier all the way up there. Brought in a bunch of end rods as well because they just feel fancier than torches. And we're able to make these cool little thingies right over in here. Got a bunch of glow berries and the works and so many anvils. Holy cow, there's a lot of anvils used around this area. Got some nice paintings, bookshelves, and the works. Pretty much anything I could get from villagers, I figured we could toss into here. But next up, we got to actually grab the honey wax from the bees farm so we can lay all of that stuff down and wax every single block of copper we have in there because I am loving that bright, bright copper color from the first stage. It just looks so good. I love that contrast in the room of just having that very stark ground. Man, this is really starting to look super duper cool out here, though. I almost want to do a fountain in the center, but I think that could be too much. One thing I do need to do is go get some smooth stone and actually add that around here as a little bit of a trim, too. But first, wax off and wax on. This is the first time I've had to deal with wax and copper, and man, do I wish there was a much easier way to tell what is and is not wax. But I will say, I'm almost thinking about leaving this middle strip right here and letting it age all the way down to the green so we can have that really matching in with all the warped wood around here. Could be kind of cool. I think I am gonna try it. We're just gonna let this middle section age all the way down and see what it looks like in the end. Also, I forgot to mention, we do have these little plants right up here and I did add some extra windows to the outside so we get even more light coming in here. But the thing I didn't actually add is I didn't add any way for us to sleep inside of here. There's no hidden beds or anything. So I might have to add some brown beds just along here, some benches. That could work. But they're two wide long and that is a three wide gap. Ugh, awkward counts. Holy cow, that was an absolutely massive expansion for the castle. No wonder it took me almost three hours to build this entire thing and I haven't even thought about decorating up here. That time-lapse footage itself, I know it was a minute long time-lapse probably, but holy cow, my friends. Every single second in that time-lapse was over two minutes of building. But I've decided we can bring these guys right up here and we're just gonna slap them right in the corner and put some trap doors right around. It might make these little side doorways a little awkward to get into, but you know, we can sleep inside of here and that is a big plus. Eventually, I do wanna bring some rooms out of like that doorway and something along here. So those windows are probably temporary. I just like the look of having the light coming in through the sides. But one thing I wanted to do next was so let's update this map right here of this whole section. Wow. That, yeah. <laughs> okay, big update today. Big, big update for the castle today. I couldn't help it. I threw on some shaders so we could check this out afterwards. These are the complimentary shaders and I love them so very much. And wow, that looks fantastic. Are all those candles lit up there? Looks like they are. Okay, good. I didn't miss any. <laughs> This looks amazing. Oh my gosh. I really hope I actually made this whole place mob proof. 
But just look at that. Look at that right there, my friends. We built this today. Also, it's meant to be very open air up there because I want to use, thinking about using shaders, I love the idea of if the sun is in certain positions, the shadows are actually being cast through here or the god rays are actually coming through those windows. And it's just beautiful. It's absolutely gorgeous. But one thing I forgot to do was I meant to fill in that block wall around where we have the glass up there so it's not just floating. I'll have to get to that here a little bit later. I don't know quite what block I want to use to do that, but maybe we just bring in some more calcite. That could look kind of nice and bring it in line with everything else we have. But man, this whole room just draws you right to the thrones where we have the proper ruler sitting of Nova Red over there and Coda hanging right out over there. Oh, it's so, so good. That, my friends, is going to have to do it for today's episode. Thank you all so very much for watching, but holy cow. This has been over 20 hours of work between the resource gathering, the building, the almost dying to bees, forgot that even happened two days ago, and then building the super smelter and everything like that. Holy cow, this has been an absolute blast over here. I hope y'all have enjoyed it, my friends. Please be sure to click that like button down below if you did enjoy. This video has been a ton of work, so I really do appreciate all your support on that one down there. And if you're brand new, my friends, please be sure to consider hitting that subscribe button if you enjoyed what you saw here today. We got plenty more hardcore action coming down the road. And if you have any ideas on what we should be doing in this series, what we should be tackling next or anything like that, please be sure to let me know down in the comments below. That would be absolutely awesome. But my friends, I will catch you on the flip side.